Welcome to AFC RD TV. I'm here at uh, Hayden Road after tonight's uh, Christmas Trophy game. The derby game between Russia and Ohio United and AFC Russia and Diamonds. I'm here with uh, Diamonds manager Andy Peaks. Andy, 7-0, uh, you can't complain and uh, a great good workout for the team. Yeah, no, it was just what we wanted. We used a lot of players. I think we used 20 players. Um, and so I wanted to win the game, I wanted to get into good habits and we did that. Um, I thought we were a little bit fortunate with the first couple of goals, which for a, for a team lower level they are, which is hard work then to come back from. But I'm not really worried about them particularly, it's more about us. Um, one of the things for tonight was work hard to get the ball back quickly to get some fitness and I thought we did that. And I thought we moved the ball pretty well second half and, and in spells first half and scored some good goals, so overall quite pleased, yeah. I mean, we don't. Uh, I suppose you don't want to name any of the players, but I thought the uh, the midfield players looked. Uh, you know, passing was good on the on a good service for the start of the season. Yeah, the pitch was good. Yeah, they've done a good job on it. Um, yeah, we passed it well. I'm gonna say a lot of the boys would say trollists. They're, they're sort of trollists, but they're just people. Obviously, we're not giving names away to. I'm sure people will find out who they were if they wanted to. But they've trained with us for four sessions and they deserve some minutes tonight. And yeah, I thought most of them really well. I was pleased and um, like I said, give us some good problems to have really for me. Obviously, some uh, probably more difficult games. Could up, no disrespect to Russell Hyam yeah. and uh, Leighton Horry next Thursday that'll be a different test yeah we'll, be, we'll have a chat next Thursday after the game and see if the same people have done well tonight have done well next week because you know we want to stand in between the two games really um, and like I said we should be beating Russell Hyam everyone knows that and when you get two goals start which we got uh, it makes it hard for them uh, but say concentrating us we can only beat what's in front of us and we did that tonight and I thought we passed it really well we took some good goals um, and overall yeah I was pleased we talked about the marketplace and we talked about coming to the goings don't we in pre-season and yeah. uh, I think we've already, uh, I know John Dean was at training last week, but uh, you believe, I believe he's moved on. Yeah, he's, he's gone, um, he got an offer to go to Corby. Um, he lives in Corby, he works in Corby. Um, and it was a no-brainer really, um, although he, he offers something a little bit different. He's, he was limited on you know, opportunities last year because he struggles with training, he doesn't drive, so he couldn't get there always on a Tuesday, Thursday, relied on other people. When they couldn't bring him, he couldn't get there, and when you're working on stuff on a Thursday, it wasn't ideal. So for me, it was a no-brainer, he goes with our best wishes, and, and again, we move on. And still looking, still talking to players? Yeah, still talking. I mean, there'll be players come available in the next few weeks, we know that. Um, you know, we've not solved every problem I had on one game tonight, I know that. Um, what it showed tonight is we've still got a good base, we've still got loads of people who want to work really hard um, and put a good shift in for the football club, and that's what I need. All right, Andy, I'll let you go. Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers, mate.